Good morning everybody. It is Monday today, Monday the 17th of May. We are opening this week at the Mystic Coffee Lounge. We are open tomorrow, Thursday and Friday and we can actually have people coming in and sitting down to have their breakfast, lunch, snacks on chit chat there. So I absolutely can't wait for that. Five months, five months. It doesn't feel like five months, it's weird. If someone was to say you're gonna close your business for five months, you'd think, oh my God. But um, we're one of the lucky ones, we're still going. And uh, you know, hopefully lots of people are gonna support all the small businesses. And I'm sure everybody is desperate to meet their friends uh, in coffee shops and places like that this week, I'm sure they are. So looking forward to being back in the lounge tomorrow properly. So, <coughs> um, I posted today, before we get into the tarot and the moon stuff, I posted today on my um, Kate May Tarot Psychic Medium page, a little quote, which I'll, I will try and post in here uh, later, about breaking habits and breaking cycles um, and breaking patterns. And, it was from a video that I watched that, you know, Facebook throw up, don't they? They, um, what they call the time hop things. So, morning Lisa, morning Georgie. So, it threw up this video from a few years back and uh, we were having such a good time, such a good time. And there was things going on in the background that I was unaware of from that video. And a couple of weeks later, everything started to come out and it all went a bit pear-shaped. But... There's an element of having to trust when things go pear-shaped, having to trust the universe for things. One of the things that I was noticing in the video was the shop, how bad it looked. I was like shocked, at like, oh my God, compared to how it is now, it was absolutely, like, it, was a, it was a mess really. Um, and obviously everything, morning Pauline, everything is, you know, you do what you can, don't you, at the time of things. So means and budgets and things. But um, I was aware that I was, you know, in hindsight, when you look back on things, that I was still repeating some pattern behaviour there of people pleasing, really, and trying to, um, I, I'm not very good with change, so I like to try and keep everything the same, much to the annoyance of probably the spirit world and my soul there. So I, I put this quote up about um, recognizing your habits, recognizing what it is that you do. And I thought Monday's a really good time, the beginning of a new week, a really good time to break those habit, habits, recognize things that isn't making you happy or that you're repeating things. And it's kind of like the universe will say, you know, we're giving you a little bit of a nudge here. We're giving you a bit of a hint to say that you need to break away or that you need to recognize these bad habits but if you don't do it if you don't leave it on your own accord we're gonna we're gonna shake things up anyway because it's not where you're meant to be there so there's an element of trust but I was wondering if people recognize their habits and it's almost like you know if you if you don't recognize them you'll get yourself in a repeated situation and it might be slightly different it could be with different people could be in a different place but the underlying habit the underlying pattern is still there and once you step back, once you recognize, actually, I'm repeating that habit, and you'll know because it's something that doesn't fit quite right with you, in the back of your head, in your soul, in your gut, you'll be just thinking something's not quite aligned here, something's not quite right. And it takes quite a bit of soul searching to find what it is that you're putting yourself in. But once you recognize, that repeated habit, that repeated pattern. And it could be that you keep attracting the same type of partner all the time. It could be that you attract the same type of friends or you get the same job and you're happy for the first couple of months and then you realize actually I'm just back in that cycle again. I'm back in that same position there. And even family members, perhaps you've been sucked back into some family situations that don't really sit with you there but once you recognize that pattern and that repeated behavior you have to take responsibility because you're the one that's allowed it whatever's going on in your life you're the one that has is allowed that to happen you know despite it being that person's um problem and that because of that person and because of that actually you're you are allowing that so the lifestyle that you leave you have to take responsibility for even if things are going really bad you have to take a look at it okay what am i doing to change things what am I doing to break myself out of that habit? But once you recognize it and you make that change, you take the faith and you, you change that direction, 
for me, I didn't take the faith. I didn't, uh, you know, like I said, I don't like change. So the universe did it for me and it was very, very messy. But in the long term, it's worked out so much better, so much better. When I look at what the shop looks like now, it would never have been that way. If I'd have stayed in that situation, it probably would have carried on looking like it was. In fact, we probably wouldn't be there now, to be fair. Um, so looking long term, when you break habits, has a massive effect on um, on the whole of your life there. And you're the one that's in charge. You're the one that can break those habits. You're, it's only you. Only you can be the one that can acknowledge those and change that pattern. And there's no point kind of going back over the past and keep reliving things and going over the same situation. You need to find the lesson. So find the lesson in that situation. Have a real good deep talk with yourself. Find the lesson and once you recognize that lesson, you'll break the habit. You'll break that behavior pattern and you will definitely evolve. Things will go into a much more getting somebody phoning me let me just turn my um volume off then and if they call back it won't matter so yeah so recognizing patterns recognizing something that doesn't completely align with you so check in with your work does it really make you happy check in with your family check in with your friends check in with your spiritual pathway check in with whatever it is whatever it is around yourself where you just think where am i keep where am I not really, really deep, solely happy? And where do I keep repeating <clears throat> this pattern? Learn the lesson from it. Learn the lesson from it. I was given a little bit of a nudge a few years prior to that, so probably about five or six years ago now. Um, and I recognised it. I recognised it there. And I was like, okay, I'm on this. And then I felt it creeping back in three years later. Didn't acknowledge it. And once things did change and broke away I was then like ah oh, blooming now I should have I, I should have recognized that people pleasing um behavior that I kept repeating there and now it's happened once more but I recognized it and I changed it straight away so then it absolutely diffused the situation as soon as I could feel that same oh actually I could get myself into this people pleasing position again I broke the habit I broke the cycle and no drama came from it because I took control of it I actually did something about it and it worked out absolutely fine so I thought I'd just share that today with you guys have a little look what's going on in your lives have a little look at these perhaps repeated patterns cycles that you want to get out of but perhaps you can't for whatever reason um, but actually when you take responsibility for your own actions take responsibility for your life then you see that you can get out of that and some people will be like well I can't just leave my job because I've got bills to pay well have a look for another job you know put yourself out there say to the universe I'm gonna do this now I'm gonna feel the fear and do it anyway look for a different job that does make you happier you know don't just keep staying in the same place if you're in a relationship well if i leave him i'm going to lose my house i'm going to lose this or leave her actually maybe that's what it needs maybe that's what it needs to um get you back on track of where you need to be there have a look at your family have a look at your friendships is it true is it real there is are they making you happy or are you just completely you know especially with family are you completing you know keep going on to a family cycle something perhaps at your parents and their grandparents are you in that loop of just repeating cycles there look at it acknowledge it and then you can really do something about it you can really get into uh, your own state and you can start to look at your patterns and your cycles and take control of things and I'm not kidding you once you do that and you get yourself out of those situations your life will be amazing it will be absolutely amazing everything will fall into place it will have like a domino effect that this will get right that will get better and things will just be amazing for you in all areas there so um if you're not happy in your life if things keep going wrong perhaps there's a reason for it perhaps there's the universe is trying to tell you you know, you're not in the right place but you need to do that action so it's a monday morning it's the start of a new week so maybe have a look at things going on in your week. Lisa, totally resonates with me. Best thing I've ever done in recent years. is It's so liberating. It's scary. It's really scary. Um, but it is liberating. And, you know, the universe will catch you. The universe will catch you. 
I, I always thought I wanted to be part of a group, part of an organisation. For years I wanted to belong to something. And I was trying to find these little groups that I wanted to belong. And I'm sure the universe said, okay, we're going to give you this group. They gave me the group. I was belonged for a little while. Wasn't being completely true to my deep feelings because I was people pleasing a lot of the time there. And then I fell out with that group. And then I formed another group. And then the universe was like, oh, this is not what we wanted. I, think, I believe it was still... Um, once I recognise, oh, actually, perhaps I should work on my own more, perhaps I don't need to be in groups, then everything fell into place. So have a real look at what is what is working for you and what is not working for you. There. I just thought I'd share that as a little Monday morning inspiration. So let's have a little look now before, uh, if anyone wants to share anything, if anyone's got any epiphanies or things that they um, have realised in their life that they've taken control of, then um, share, share, give us all some inspiration there. It's, it's not as scary, We, you know, the universe does catch it. So let's have a look at the moon. So the moon is in Leo. The moon is in Leo. So playful energy here. Um, playful energy and energy that maybe connect to your creativity, connects to your inner child, connects to a bit of fun. Uh, and it can be where you maybe need a little bit of strength at the time. But that inner strength there. You may find that you um, want to be a little bit more, I mean, things are opening up now, so you could find you're being a bit more sociable there. Have a look at your inner child. The Leo energy really wants you to connect to your inner child, perhaps to be around children, to perhaps have a bit of fun there. Um, do some drawing, do some painting, do some creator, do some creating work, do some theatre work. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it is that's going to really get you into that inner child, that creative energy is going to be really, really good. Being spontaneous, having some last minute fun is always good in the Leo energy there. We've also got um, Mercury. Uh, it is conjunct with the North Node in astrology. Oh, one minute. Caroline, I changed my life. In 2010... Then after a while, decided that it, that wasn't what I wanted to be stuck ever since. Oh, oh, yeah. So I hope that's what I think. What you're meaning there, Caroline, is you changed your life after deciding that you didn't want to be stuck there, um, and hopefully things have improved for you. So yeah. So uh, Mercury is connected with the North Node there, and Venus joins the North Node at the same degree of Gemini. So what does that all mean? It really is about thinking about your ideas. It's almost like Mercury and Gemini work well together. So these ideas, this communication that's going on, um, you know, you've got the moon energy of the Leo, so there's a little bit more, you can take a risk, you can do things a little bit more outside the box, be a little bit more braver with that Leo energy there. Um, but also think, right, okay, those opportunities that I've been thinking about, now you can start taking some action go with things that actually start to feel right. And although it's a little bit frightening to begin with, it really will, um, it's exciting. You know, you can turn um, you can turn those negative or those fear things into something exciting. When I was learning to do the platform mediumship, I remember fabulous teacher Mavis Patilla uh, saying that like, those nerves that you get before you stand up on, on stage, change it around to being excited and that way you're going to have the more confidence to go up, you know, because when the spirit world draw close, uh, we've got our energy, our aura, and they see you like, oh yeah, I want to stand up, yeah, I'm going to go on the platform, I'm going to give a message, so they're like, yeah, we see her, she's opening up, yeah, we're going to come, and then when you think, oh my god, it's my time, I'm going to shit myself, and like, oh, I can't do it anymore, so then you, everything shrinks, and then the spirit world are like, oh, okay, she's not ready, we're going to, you know, so using anything that is going to excite you, anything that's going to make you nervous, change it into something to do with uh, being excited there. And use that Leo energy as well to push that. Leos, they are, uh, they like to be on show. So anything that you want to do is a great time to sort of push through that fear, push through that barrier and get yourself out there a bit more. And with all those, um, that Mercury and Gemini connections there, things that you've just been thinking about, this is a great time to now push through that and actually do it. Actually go for whatever it is that you want to do there oh caroline no not really Kate. oh caroline well you need to have a little bit of a rethink you need to have a little bit of thinking oh what's making what isn't making me happy what needs what do you need to do caroline you know when i do my um 
life coaching, it's like they have to take responsibility and think, right, what do they want? What do you want in your life? Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be in two years, three years time? Do you still want to be stuck in the same position or do you want to do something about it? Because that time is still going to come. That t month is still going to pass. That year is still going to pass. But it's up to you how you want to navigate your life to, to get the best out of things there. But it does take quite a big, um, a big leap of faith sometimes. Big leap of faith. But, you know, the universe does have your back when it's all aligned. Okay, let's have a look at our tarot messages today. And um, if you like your card, please do share. Helena says you can't share. I think you need to actually be in the group to share. That was what somebody said the other week. So I don't know where you're watching this from, but yeah, click actually into the group there. Um, and then you can share. Morning, Gemma. How are you? Pauline, morning, Pauline. I guess your internet keeps dropping because you keep coming in and going out. So maybe your internet's not great today. Okay, so let's have a look at for today, Monday's tarot message. It is the Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands is a great card. It goes exactly how we've just been talking about. Looking ahead to the future. Morning, Annette. Looking ahead to the future. Planning things. And feeling excited about the next journey ahead of you. Now, this can come in with collaboration, collaborating with people who are equally excited or who have an equal drive to you. Threes in the tarot is almost like a, a milestone. You have the aces at the beginning, the, to the twos are like taking that step forward, and the threes, you go three, six, and nine, they're all milestones in the tarot. So a three is the idea that you've had, something has worked, and now you're ready for that next stage. You're ready to plan that next part. You're ready to, um, something has, has done so well that you're now ready to take it further there. Although it's still early, because it's only a three, it is still early, but you've reached some kind of milestone. So think about things that, you're, that you've done and that you're excited about and you're now ready to take it to the next step. I mean, it works perfectly well for me with opening the shop this week. Yesterday I was in there cleaning everything, buying the food. Today I've got a few readings in there and then I shall be um, cleaning a bit more. And, um, oh, she, Pauline says, strange, I've been watching, not left. That's weird, Pauline, it keeps dropping in and out with, with it here. So for me, this is great because it's like planning. We've been planning like this week, planning this week for the last five months about opening. So uh, it's a really, really good positive card. Can indicate travel, can indicate looking further afield. It also indicates that you know what's in front of you. You know what obstacles you've got going on. You know, you can see things a lot clearer so you can be prepared for any challenges or prepared for any obstacles there. So have a little look where you are planning things. Okay, Gemma, thank you for sharing, Gemma. Let's have a little card for you. Gemma, you've got the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords indicates you're moving away from trouble. We like that. You're moving away from trouble. You're moving into calmer waters. Now, you may not know what you're, where you're going. You may not know where you're heading, but you're definitely moving into calmer waters. So there's a little bit of having to trust things there, Gemma. And you can see in this card, one side is a little bit... Um, wavy so a little bit more chaotic and the other side is calm and smooth and that's the the side that you're heading towards there you may have to get out of a situation quick or you may find that you've been thinking about something that you know you need to change and then all of a sudden that penny drops and you're like i just need to get out of here but you're moving into calmer waters there Gemma. the transition it takes about six to six weeks to six months for me with this card so the transition could be you know, a little bit of a time for you, but I would have said within six months, you really are in a much more calmer place if you take the action and move on from something now. Okay, let's have a little look there. Um, Helena, thank you for trying to share, Helena. Okay. So from tomorrow, I'm going to have to do all these lives super early. Tomorrow's my Instagram live, so it's going to have to be gosh, about eight o'clock in the morning, I think. I'm gonna to have to really go to bed early and get up early and rearrange my little morning routine, have my walk tomorrow. So everything's gonna be super early so I can be in the shop for just after nine, I hope. Helena, Queen of Cups. Interesting, my first feeling with this with you is, I know that you're very spiritual, I know that you're very kind and caring, 
but my first feeling is that actually you might have to start putting you first I'm not sure if you've been too kind and caring for everybody else and you've sort of kept a lid on your own emotional things but now's the time to start um, you're in control of your emotions which is good but it's it's uh, the influence around for you Helena is telling me that actually you need to start putting a bit of love to you, you need to do perhaps do some things that you really enjoy buy yourself some flowers treat yourself to a new handbag or a new pair of shoes whatever it is but actually i feel that you need to start paying attention to you and your emotional needs there so have a little check in helena if you've been doing too much for other people or putting other people's needs first there now's the time to be a bit more nurturing around yourself caroline thank you for sharing Caroline, the Ten of Pentacles. This is a great card, Caroline. It indicates family money. <clears throat> so there could be some money coming to you in a longer term situation or something that you're working towards where there's going to be more security later on in life. This card can indicate that there is financial abundance coming your way, enough to be able to share out to the family, enough to be able to make you feel comfortable there. And there could be a generation connection here. So you could have money that's connected to generations of the family or endowments or long-term situations but equally there could be some family celebrations coming together with generations of family there it's a great card though caroline so look out for some good celebrational news around you or all connected to your family there lisa lisa hurst let's pull a little card for you lisa it is the Knight of Swords, Lisa. Now, the Knight of Swords is all about wanting to rush ahead into something. Like, yeah, I've got an idea and I'm just going to go for it. But in that rush, you could make some mistakes. So this card is like, have a little, um, what do they say? Less haste, more speed. No, the other way around. You know what I mean. This card is saying, just dot the I's, cross the T's. Make sure that <clears throat> whatever it is you're getting yourself into, that you're not um, so hell-bent on getting somewhere that you you're inflexible be flexible and perhaps just slow down a little bit so that you don't miss some opportunities or make some mistakes there but it is an exciting card that your thoughts are going to start to take off things are going to start to um, move forward for you now and things are really going to start to take shape but make sure that um, you're in control of that okay right my lovelies i hope they make sense to you if you missed that little talk at the beginning monday's motivational talk uh, about breaking habits breaking cycles do listen back on replay and do let me know let me know if you're stuck and you want a bit of help in breaking a cycle or a pattern or if you've already done it and you've had some amazing experience from it if you want to book a reading i've got nothing this week or nothing next week i'm fully booked for the next two weeks i wasn't going to do any this week and then i've ended up with eight somehow um, I was just going to get into the shop and enjoy that. So this week I'm done. Um, but next week and next week I'm done. So I'm taking bookings for the following week now. I know I'm going to get walk-ins at the shop. We always do. And fingers crossed, fingers crossed that Colin will be in a position to help me out there soon. And can do some of the walk-ins. But also uh, he will be available for reading. So if people want a reading and I can't do it that particular week and they're super desperate, then I'll have somebody else that I can push them on to and obviously if you want um he doesn't do the cards he does medium mystic readings there um but if you want a reading with me then just yeah message me and we'll book you in for the following week whatever that is have a fabulous fabulous day if you are local to pompey if you want to pop in the shop and see us tomorrow i've got some gorgeous new cakes coming in some homemade scones i've seen the picture of them today and they're like that's big so yeah lots of new gorgeous yummy food in the shop this week come and see us have a fabulous Monday. Take care, everyone. See you later.